Hello everyone, my name is Zach Grenier. I am a dental hygiene student at Vermont Technical College. Um, I am here today to discuss a few changes that we would like to implement in our dental hygiene clinic. Um, those changes are supported by evidence and they are in regards to infection control procedures as well as certain dental supplies that we utilize um, in the operatories on a daily basis and with every patient. Um, so basically that's my agenda today is to discuss those things with you and some of the problems that we feel uh, are presented on a daily basis. So what are those problems, you might ask? Um, for one, we use a disinfectant solution, which is called an Optum One Wipe. Um, it has always been said that it, evidence shows, I should say, um, that one wipe is all that's necessary um, to cover, say, a four uh, square foot area. Um, and with our operatories, that should only take six wipes to accomplish. Uh, but we currently are under an infection control protocol that requires us to do a two-pass uh, system. So we are utilizing at least 12 wipes, if not more, um, before we would see the patient. And then between patients, we do the same thing. Um, so that's obviously creating a lot of waste and seems unnecessary uh, in terms of following protocol for infection control by CDC, as well as by OSHA and the FDA. Um, another concern that we have is the amount of plastic barriers that we use. Um, it is, again, protocol that we use them on the operatory chair, and it just eliminates, obviously, some of the uh, bacterial and pathogens that are in the environment in general um, that can be cross-contaminated from saliva and other bodily fluids from patients onto those surfaces. Um, but those barriers in general do create a lot of waste, which brings us to our third problem, um, which is our environmental impact, which I imagine most uh, dental operatories and clinics across the country and in the world do produce a lot of waste. Um, obviously, infection control is the most important, as well as patient safety. Um, so all of the evidence that I'm going to show you and discuss with you uh, does keep in mind that as our main uh, contributing factor, patient safety, as well as operator safety. So some of the problems, as I mentioned, are regarding the wipes. Uh, that's a cost that is um, incurred by both the students as well as the facility, which does raise tuition rates, which does make it less affordable for students, which requires more debt, more loans, more everything. Um, so Optum One, I did contact them and they have sent me research studies that show as long as the surface is covered um, and stays wet for at least one minute, um, then that surface is considered sterile um, or disinfected, I should say. So the wipes are bactericidal, which means that they do kill bacteria, and they are sporicidal, which means that they do kill spores. So as long as you are using a wipe on that four by four, say, uh, square foot area, and it stays wet for at least one minute, then one wipe is all that's necessary. Um, tests confirm that using one versus two wipes um, made no difference in the bacterial levels that were present 30 minutes later. So again, it's a 30 second to one minute contact time um, and is basically just as useful as doing a two wipe system, but it saves on waste. It also saves on cost. Um, some of the other problems that we've been having is that using metal um, sterilizable air water syringes, saliva ejectors, things of that nature that do come in contact with patients um, as well as their bodily fluids, is that we do sterilize them in the autoclave. Now, OSHA recommends switching everything to disposable. Granted, this has an issue um, with my problem, so to speak, with our environmental impact. However, um, the problem with the metal ones is that they cannot be rinsed thoroughly. They cannot uh, be cleaned from the inside because of, obviously, the diameter of those instruments in terms of the internal tubing. Um, you can get anything to scrub um, any of those bacteria that might be remaining um, that are not um, planktonic, so to speak, something that can be, you know, just kind of free floating through that water system um, or ejection system. So those things do eventually uh, coalesce on the inside of those types of um, supplies and we can't clean them. So obviously we're, we have an issue with infection control there. So switching over, ultimately there are 250 disposable um, air water syringes that come in each pack and it roughly 
the initial cost is more expensive, but ultimately it comes out to roughly the same amount after wear and tear, as well as when you consider the operators of the autoclaves, what they cost, um, the equipment and the solutions that are needed for the autoclave, the electricity that it costs for the autoclave, and the fact that you'd have to switch those out for every patient also. So ultimately the cost remains the same, although our environmental impact goes up. Um, so again, I think that it's more important to focus on the barriers and those plastics than very tiny uh, millimeter in terms of width and length, uh, saliva ejectors, um, as well as our water syringes. So some of the solutions obviously include changing out some of our supplies. Uh, we want to meet OSHA's guidelines uh, and we would also like to keep infection control as our main concern, as I mentioned earlier. So. I proposed uh, switching our infection control program to a one wipe system. Um, ultimately, you're talking um, about 10 cents per wipe. There's 160 wipes in every container. Uh, looks very similar to this container right here, as you all know. So there's one wipe, obviously, that we can utilize. Six wipes for every patient, six wipes in between every patient. That's ultimately 12 wipes per day per student. Um, I've proposed to do a study where we can have one group of students that's controlled that's using the same protocols we always have as well as another group that's going to switch to a one wipe system, have those services tested and just um, hopefully have some evidence that proves that yes, that is still just as effective um, of a disinfectant method. In addition to that, obviously, we already know that changing out uh, the air water syringes and saliva ejectors to something that is disposable, yes, will increase our environmental impact. However, it will definitely meet the OSHA guidelines and obviously keeping patient safety in mind first will have that effect. Um, the third thing, the environmental impact, switching to less wipes is going to enormously change the amount of trash that we um, produce every single day in the clinic. In addition to that, the biodegradable uh, disposable barriers have also been proven to not have any microscopic holes um, or areas that can be penetrated by both fluids as well as bacteria. Um, so studies show by the CDC that they are just as effective as infection control protocols and measures, um, but they have a huge environmental impact in the sense that they are biodegradable. So they break down very quickly. Um, they can be thrown out free form just within trash containers that are lined um, so that when that stuff does reach um, the garbage dumps, it breaks down extremely fast. It does not require any additional recycling procedures. It doesn't require any burning of materials. Um, so obviously we're, lo we're lowering Vermont Technical College's um, environmental impact in that regard and creating less CO2 emissions into the environment and global warming and climate change, which are all obvious concerns that we have. So uh, budget, obviously something that is another concern. So when you're thinking about budget, uh, the disposable barriers are on par with our current plastic barrier system. Um, I believe they're actually a little bit less. Uh, I want to say that it was within two cents plus or minus, depending on the company that we used. So obviously we'd go with the one that was less expensive um, because they did meet the CDC guidelines. The Optimum wipes, they're $16.99 a container, 160 wipes per container. Um, those roughly come out to $0.10 cents for every single wipe we use. So switching from a 12-step a uh, or 12-wipe um, use b between and during every patient down to six is going to cut that in half. Um, so currently the clinic is spending roughly $8,430 um, just to do that per semester. So now we're going to be spending $4,000 um, again, as long as the evidence um, backs that up, which it has according to Optum One studies and us doing our own will only further um, conclude that that is the way to move forward. Um, so that is what I'm proposing that is what I think would make sense for us as a campus, as a school, and also hopefully set a precedent for new programs that are coming online uh, for dental hygiene, dental therapy, um, and just general private practice clinical practices. Um, so to conclude this, I think overall this will increase the amount of consumer patients we can see in a day, um, the time to set up and break down and um, transfer our operatories will be broken in half just by the wiping, which is the most time consuming. And in addition, we'll always have the patient's safety in mind as well as the operator's safety in mind and continue to have the highest standards in infection control procedures. 
So thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you so much.